What's up guys, Dr. Jared here. And these are five things that you can do every single morning to alleviate pain in your plantar fascia. Now if you have plantar fasciitis or pain in the bottom of your foot, you know it can be miserable. And especially those first couple of steps in the morning as you get out of bed and as you kind of get going, those steps can be very painful. It feels like someone's stabbing you in the bottom of the foot. The things that I want to share with you in this video are going to help to alleviate that pain and help you to get up and get moving a little bit easier throughout your day. I hope that that's the benefit that you get from watching this video. Now real quick, let's talk about the anatomy behind this. Um, this is my foot, or this is my skeleton, this is my foot. It didn't have a plantar fascia, so I built one down here. Your plantar fascia is a thick, broad ligament that goes along the bottom of your foot. It starts right here at your heel, and then it kind of fans out into your toes in this direction. Now, you can get plantar fasciitis pain throughout that entire ligament, but most common, it's right down here at the insertion point on the, hill, on the heel. These exercises, these things that I'm going to show you in this video are going to be beneficial if you're experiencing pain throughout anywhere in, that, in the whole length of that plantar fascia. Now, like I said, it is a ligament. It does support the bottom of your foot. And those first couple of steps in the morning, they're especially painful because as you're initially weight bearing on that, basically your ligament has to stretch back out, puts a little bit more stress on that spot or on that area of injury. And that's why those first couple of steps are really painful in the morning. So if we can prepare that plantar fascia, if we can loosen it up, if we can stretch it out, if we can mobilize it a little bit, all of a sudden those first couple of steps in the morning are going to be a lot better. And hopefully the rest of your day is a lot better as well. That's the benefit that I hope that you get out of this video. Of course, if you do like these things, hit the thumbs up button, leave me a comment down below. I always love to hear from you guys. That being said, hey, let's jump right into this routine. All right, so here are those five things. Before you take those initial steps, this whole routine is gonna take you less than five minutes to run through. And again, I hope you get a significant amount of pain relief from this. The first thing that I want you to do is some massage. And so typically, again, this, this spot down here in your heel is the most painful, so we're gonna start up here kind of towards the ball of your foot. And what you can do is just use your hands to kind of get in there and rub on that plantar fascia, kind of get it loosened up a little bit. I tell people use your fingertips or you can use your knuckles if you kind of take the outside of that one foot. With this hand, I even like to introduce a little bit of a stretch to that plantar fascia. Again, keep it nice and comfortable. And then this massage as we're gonna work it over and we're gonna work all through there. That's a great way to just get it loosened up. It's going to be painful initially when you first start doing Doing this but hopefully by the end of the massage it starts to feel a little bit better um, 60 seconds is what I want you to do here so just about one minute worth of massage again just to get it loosened up just to get it ready for some of the other things that we're going to be doing the next thing is going to be a stretch or a, just a plantar fascia stretch Basically, all we want to do is grab the toes and pull them back towards your knee, okay? Again, I showed you what that plantar fascia looks like. I want to create as much separation between the ball of your foot and the heel of your foot. So however you can create that, that's what I want you to do. And so even if it takes like your whole hand and you kind of pull, I'm using my palm to kind of leverage my toes back towards me as I'm pulling the ball of my foot away from the heel of my foot, and then that's what it looks like. And so what I would do is I'd hold that for 20 seconds and then relax, give it a little bit of a little bit of a break, and then repeat that one three times. So three times, 20 seconds on that plantar fascia stretch. The third thing that I want you to do is uh, that plantar fascia, some of those fibers are actually continuous with your Achilles tendon. If you have tight Achilles or if you have tight calves, um, Plantar fasciitis is actually a common symptom of that as well. So we stretch both of those out when we treat this problem. And so what I wanna do is show you my favorite calf and kind of back of the leg stretch. Now for this one, you will need like a towel or a belt. What I typically recommend to patients is just leave that right there on the nightstand so that you can grab it first thing in the morning after the massage, after the plantar fascia stretch. This is how I like to stretch out the calf. You're gonna take your towel or your belt, you're gonna put that right around the ball of your foot, and then you're gonna pull that right towards you. And so I've got my left leg off of the, off of the bed here, my right leg's extended out straight, that strap is again around the ball of my foot, and as I pull that towards me, you're gonna feel a stretch right through the back of the calf, some people, if your plantar fasciitis is really bad, they even say, yeah, I really feel that in the plantar 
fascia itself. And then the last thing that I always like to tell people is sit up nice and tall when you do this and you're gonna get even more of a stretch right here kind of behind your knee and up into your hamstrings. And so what you would do is hold that in a comfortable stretch position for 20 seconds and then repeat that one three times. So we've loosened it up, we've stretched it out. The next thing that I like to do is to do some active range of motion or just some range of motion exercises in your ankle and in your foot. The easiest way to do that is to write the ABCs. Pretend like your big toe is a Sharpie, and what I want you to do is write the capital alphabet just as big as you can. I'm using my ankle and I'm using my foot, so my toes are grabbing as my ankle is also moving. But we're gonna go capital A, capital B, and what I want you to do is just run through that entire alphabet. And the reason why we do that is that's gonna take your ankle through all the available ranges of motion. That's also gonna take your foot and your toes through all of their available range of motion as well. Again, this is an active range of motion exercise. So I'm using my muscles to control where and how my foot moves. Just a great way to continue to get that loosened up and mobile, okay? And so one time through the ABCs. And then the last thing that I want you to do is actually just get a pair of slippers or a pair of house shoes. And here's why. You can actually get some really nice slippers these days um, that have some good arch support that are actually orthotic slippers or orthotic house shoes. They have a good sole that's non-slip on them. They're super durable, but they just have a really good arch support. Again, I mentioned in the beginning of this video, the reason why you experience pain with those initial steps is it's that plantar fascia getting stretched out again because you're walking around barefoot. And so if you have a nice pair of shoes or a nice pair of house shoes or a nice pair of slippers, that's going to support your arch, that's going to support your plantar fascia better. And trust me, it makes a world of difference with those first initial couple of steps. And so if you have plantar fasciitis, you probably have a favorite pair of shoes. Typically, I recommend just buy another pair of those shoes, but then don't wear them outside. Make those like your indoor shoes, really helps. Or if you're interested in these orthotic slippers, I'm gonna link a bunch of them down below. Check the description down below for some of my recommendations. Now, if you're interested in an entire routine that's going to actually help out your plantar fascia, these are exercises and stretches that you can do at home to alleviate your plantar fasciitis pain, I highly recommend that you check out this video right here from Tone and Titan. Now, for some reason, YouTube thinks that you might like this video, so check that one out from Tone and Titan. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd love to see you back for future videos. Hit the circle right here to do that. I hope this helps, and I hope to see you again soon right here on Tone and Titan.